I use custom inspectors everywhere in my game. They can be used to display data in whatever way you'd like. First add using Unity Editor to the top of your Mono Behavior script file and wrap it in hash if Unity Editor and hash end if. Then somewhere in this file, make a class with the same name as your Mono Behavior, but with the word editor added to the name, and make it inherit from editor. Wrap this class definition in hash if Unity Editor and hash end if too. Above the class, write in square brackets a call to custom editor type of the Mono Behavior to customize. In the class, write public override void on inspector. GUI, and then brackets to make it a function. In this function, write var component equals target casted to your mono behavior type, then return if it's null. Now you can make buttons by writing if GUI layout dot button, and then pass in the text to display on the button. When the button is clicked, it will do whatever's inside the if statement. For example, change the age value of this thing doer component. You'll probably notice eventually that undo doesn't work after pressing this button. You can fix that by writing undo.record object, pass in the component as the first argument, followed by a description to go into the undo menu. Do this before you change the object. You can also add labels with the label function, and edit strings with text boxes. The text field function returns the edited string. If you don't update the string to this value, then you won't be able to actually edit the text field. If you want to include all the original inspector stuff, add draw default inspector somewhere. Sometimes you want to detect if a value was actually changed. You can do this really easily by writing editor GUI.begin change check before the change might happen, then if editor GUI.end change check after, and the stuff in the if statement will only run if something changes between begin and end. I'll put links to some relevant documentation in the description. I'm developing a game and making tutorials and stuff on this channel, so subscribe and like this video if you want to see more.